Welcome to the object oriented programming in Python and in this episode we are going to talk about polymorphism and don't be scared about the polymorphism I'm going to keep it very simple for you it's how it's going to work and what are the uses of this everything in this episode so let's get started and first thing is let's break it down so polymorphism is consist of poly and morphism poly means many and morph means having different form so changing from one form to another form is polymorphism so to actually so to actually explain you i will going to create a class called french and in this French class, I'm going to define a function which is like, I'm going to say hello. So this is the function I have created. And in French, how you create, how you call hello. So I'm going to print bonjour. So I think I'm right. So let's just go to translate, Google translate. And I will say here, hello. Uh, not low hello and here French and yes bonjour is correct similarly I will create a new class which is called Chinese and I think you guessed it right now I'm going to to define another function but with the same name and this time I'm going to print and what we call hello in Chinese let's hear here what is eha eha good so let's call eha not here inside this parenthesis okay so this is great so this is good now let's define a function or simple function not inside any kind of class and i'm going to say intro okay so this is going to say lang uh, means whatever is the language and then i will say lang dot say hello this is the function I'm going to call great and let's say I have an instance of French and my name is Sarthak so I speak French but John is going to speak Chinese so let's now see if we use the intro function and I will pass Sarthak here what will be the result what function it is going to call Chinese or French let's run it and yes bonjour is there and similarly if we say intro for intro for John and now run yes you can say you can see here eha is there so why is eha for John and bonjour for Sartha see because John is an instance or John is an object of Chinese class. So this object go to intro function. Intro function accept that object and it will say object dot say hello. Whatever is the object, I don't care. Just call its say hello function. So now because we have defined on both of the class say hello function then it can easily call that function from here so this is very 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 nice this means you have a different implementation of same function for different situations and sometimes what you do you can define an abstract class so i will say class of language and this is going to have a same function called say hello function and this is not going to implement anything and it's just going to say not implemented error this one and the error is please uh, use say hello class in child class okay so this is the class I have created and it's an abstract class because this function is not doing anything just raising the error and now I can easily use the inheritance and extend this class or use this class for both of the languages and now if I run there is no effect on that but if I somehow remove this suppose I don't have the French say hello function 
what it's going to do yeah it's going to call this function and you can see it says some error because we need to pass here okay okay now run it and now you can see because we don't have the say hello function in french class that's why it go inside this parent class which is just going to raise an exception and exception is this one which is please use say hello class in child class so this is the way you can use the polymorphism in python which is very useful and also abstract polymorphism which is again save your time and save your code also so if you have liked these episodes go and share with your friends subscribe to this channel for more advanced tutorial of python like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye